Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Open Water TV. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep your terminal tackle in place um, when the hooks say like they jump compartments. Uh, this is a very easy way to keep them from moving around, keep your tackle organized real easily. So first, I'm going to go over some materials. Um, you can, this is just like shelf liner for cabinets um, and shelves. You need a roll of that. You need a black sharpie marker some scissors, a hot glue gun, and then some extra glue sticks for it. Um, the box I'm going to be doing, the box I'm going to be doing this with is this terminal tackle box. Um, you can do it with your terminal tackle in there or without, it might be easier without, but I'm just going to show you um, how to do it with the terminal tackle in, so if you're worrying about having, having to empty your box, uh, you don't really have to. So step one is figuring out what size you need to cut your mat at, um, or the piece of matting. So you open your box, uh, and it's easier to flip it around this way. And then just lay your mat across like this. And line it up on the top here. Kind of push it around. And then on the edges, you just want to go with the sharpie marker and just draw where you want to cut so as you can see I have my outline here so you can take your box away put it off to the side and then you can start cutting um, out your your little template here So once you have your mat cut out, you can take, bring your box back over, open it up, and lay it in there, see how it fits. Uh, as you can see, that fits perfectly um, on every side, nice and flat. Um, so now what you want to do is get your hot glue gun, and you're basically going to start with the mat on one side. Just pull a piece up and hot glue it. When doing this, I use one of these little Plano dividers for um, the Plano boxes, the ones that come with. I'll just take one. Instead of using my finger so I don't burn my finger, I'll just pat down the, the mat onto the glue. So once you have that first piece in, you can spin your box. And you just lift up and make a line of glue again. So once you have it glued, you can go around and check the corners. And I put a dot of glue in every corner just to make sure they stay and the mat doesn't rip up um, at any point when you're using your box. Um, also, you go around the edges. If there's any mat that needs to be um, glued down, definitely glue it like right here. This side does. Um, that's basically it. Uh, you're pretty much done. Um, the one thing about this, if you're one of those guys that likes to make all your stuff, all your boxes look nice from the outside, as you can see you have 
you have all these lines here from the glue. Uh, what I did, I mean, I don't mind the lines there. Uh, they're just going to go in my tackle bag anyways. But I, I mean, you can put stickers around here, like the tackle warehouse sticker. Or if you're like me, you can just leave it. Um, either way, it doesn't matter to me. So that's how to keep your terminal tackle from sliding around. As you can see, close the box, shake it. Everything's still in its compartments, no hooks jumped anywhere uh, or weights. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at OpenWaterTV. Um, if you have a comment or any questions, you can DM me on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, thanks for watching.